Those nice guys, trademarked, always complain about a six-foot-tall, inconsiderate jerk who can get a girlfriend, but do you actually know a jerk like that? Well, of course, I know him. He is me. He is from Obi-Wan Kenobi to Obi-Wan a holy A true master in the art of, uh, dingusing. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys. And if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribed. Many women will spend their twenties pottering and get passed around like a peace pipe. When they get older and their options become severely limited, they will claim that they want to settle down with a nice guy, when in reality they are just looking for a retirement plan. What percentage of women marry for love? Three out of four women said that they would not wed someone without a job, and 65% would feel uncomfortable tying the not if they themselves were jobless, but more than 91% of single women said that they would marry for love over money. Considering the fact that, according to women, being treated like a lady by a man, or being with a man that radically believes in their rights, a male feminist is considered boring or predatory. Not fan fiction. They say that. They either don't care because those misogynistic boyfriend have something else to offer, appearance or whatever, or actively prefer them. How? I don't know. I see this type of stuff Misandra say on Twitter, TikTok, and real life. And it truly does not matter how hot they are. Everything that was attractive about them will begin with completely evaporates. If there are many here that would go for a misandrist, then we can agree to disagree. I've never heard of misandry before. Could you give an example? Just look at governmental policies and video game policies and movie policies, and societal policies in recent times. Maybe the last 10 to 15 years or so, and you'll see. It is pretty obvious when you start to look. Uh, no, you can't just make a statement and then tell them they need to look for the proof themselves. Plus, also, you're using horrible examples of just things in the past that don't really help prove your point, dude. Do misandrists exist? 100%. I'm fairly certain I've covered many on my past videos and, like, the nice girls, the just like beer videos, which do still exist. I just haven't really made any in a while because of the motivation to do such, but they do 100% exist. During my 12th grade, I had to witness genuine freaking massages and Dudes who spike girls' drinks, talking about doing these bad things to them, judging them based on their boobs and the butt sizes, all have stable freaking relationships with good women, and they were also some of the most popular dudes in our grade and school as well, keep in mind. I have a long lost hope that women will actually judge a man based on his character and attitude before getting into a relationship with him. Just for laughs, I give up man, this clown world is making me laugh my lungs out. Were you in prison or something, JFL? Where the ev were people just openly talking about this. Not openly, but covertly. Since I was a loner and didn't talk at all with my peers, they didn't really give two dookies about what they said around me, and a few with taking pity on me for some twisted desire to exhibit their skills shared even more excruciating info with me. I regret ever knowing about this. I genuinely do. Also, this all took place in a normal, regular school in South India. Not some dookie hole run government school or some prison camp or something. Do straight women know just how misogynistic their boyfriends are behind their backs? So, I was with a group of guys the other day and they started talking about their girlfriends. 
They talked about their girlfriend's coochie, and uh, what they felt like, made fun of them, and spoke in a generally degrading manner. They went on a list of with women whom they would cheat on their girlfriends with if they could get away with it, and started rating women that appeared on TV, and was running in the background on a scale of 1 to 10, and saved the most grotesque comments for overweight women. I was disgusted disgusted by everything those guys said, yet I was dumbfounded by the realization that they all had girlfriends and I didn't. Do their girlfriends realize just how misogynistic their boyfriends are? I had the same situation in the locker room back in high school. It was always the popular guys said the most outrageous, sexist comments who ended up having the most girlfriends. I say this because we often get accused of having bad personalities or of being misogynists. Yet you can literally be the biggest misogynist and women will still date you. How is that possible? The fact of the matter is that you cannot be honest with women because they are sensitive, emotional brains in the way they think they take things away too personally. They will hear something you said in the first one minute of you talking that upsets them, and then you could be telling them, but yeah, I just won the lottery and now I'm a millionaire and buy you a house a car, and we are going on vacation, so I'm gonna pick you up at 7 o'clock, don't worry about packing, we're just gonna buy clothes when we get there, but because of that thing you said in the first one minute or 30 seconds, that it wasn't meant to make her angry, it was just the truth, but it was slightly critical of her character, or how she acts or reacts, and that will upset her so much that she won't even be able to hear me telling her that I just won the lottery. I'm buying her a house, a car, going on vacation, don't pack because we're going to buy everything. We get there and we go message her. When I said I was going to pick her up in the stretch limo to get to the airport, I'm blocked on Facebook and Messenger because of the first minute of me saying something that made her angry and wasn't meant to make her angry. What to make her think or reflect? LOL. This is why I, guys, cannot be 100% honest with a woman. It's like, oh, no, ain't no way that was the first sentence. That classic question when she asked, do you think I'm fat? And you look at her and say, yeah, you kind of got fat. Holy, you can lose like 30 pounds. You were way skinnier when we started dating. You should hit up the gym. Don't worry, I still love your fat A, though. And you are just like joking about being honest at the same time like she did it again uh, that 30 pounds and she should hit up the gym but now she hates you and she set up the question she asked if she looks fat so now she is mad because you were actually just being honest with her and this is after she already told you a week ago it's okay you can just be honest with me please be honest with me whatever you do don't lie <laughs> lol damned if you do damned and if you don't... But, uh, hey, hey, uh, Dingus, I think your grandma needs a little bit of a re revision in the form of a brick being thrown at it. I want to get this off of my chest. Every woman that I have ever had an interest in uh, me uh, then abandons me. Here I am giving a big dookie about them wanting a serious, committed relationship, and they just uh, drop me like a hot potato. Yeah, you needed someone to cling to, to get out of your situation. But you picked the self-driven, self-engrawled, drandois narcissist. Just like all of the F and B's, me, the lover, the loyal one. What do I get? Nothing. Thrown to the freaking wolves while she gets rammed by number six million and sprinkled with cash by greaseball number eight million. No. No partnership. No working together. No supporting each other. 
Oh, I'll text you on a whim every few weeks when my need for emotional support kicks in. Hello, well. But if your nature male impulses that I serve and am well aware of for every other aeol that swarms around me with their infected criminal mind or inherited privilege and its social programming, or is just a freaking great, isn't it? No freaking accountability. You think that means F shot for me? It doesn't. I don't freaking give a frick about women's stupid freaking choices of quality, right? You can make your own choices, right? And you choose the scum. And you leave the good ones behind to fend for themselves because they are not heartless. And God forbid they show an inkling of feeling. Unlike the scum zombies of privilege or the beasts of psychopathy that go unfazed by their dreadful surroundings. If they can even fathom them. God forbid the man with feelings shows the lightest discomfort he is to be thrown under because the feminine instinct of of survival kicks in. I need a cold heart ruthless monster that will protect me, lol. You scream of nice guy. Yeah, I am a nice guy. What is wrong with that? Why do women always choose to give their intimacy to demons and pay pigs instead of wanting a relationship where we grow together and support one another. Change your attitude. Hey, come on, that'll be a, that'll actually require them to have a little bit of an effort to make a difference in themselves. Nah, that's, that's gotta be impossible. But with that, that is going to have to be with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel and turn on the notifications now i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye